Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, you know, life kind of gets in the way and it's tough to just sit down sometimes and uh, shoot a video and uh, talk about tanks and things like that when uh, usually you have your significant other around and it's tough just to get in front of the camera and, uh, and do something like this. But I just wanted to do, I have some time off this week I uh, just got a just got a new baby boy a son in so we've been taking care of him I took a little time off of work and during this time off I was I've really been able to uh, work on the tank a little more um, I just did a filter cleaning on it actually I did my water change on Sunday and trimming and then today I decided to change out the you know change out the water in the filter and change out the uh one of the sponges that comes with the eheims um and you know it's i think i think it's really important um especially when you're working on a on a high-tech quotes tank uh it's to really keep the water clean i mean i do water changes 50 percent 50 to 60 percent water change weekly but sometimes it i feel like uh it needs a little more i could tell you know there's a lot of detritus in the sand and in the moss and stuff like that and uh, it's good to, to get in there every now and then and change a little more of the water vacuum out the substrate you know vacuum out the sludge that gets caught up in the moss it's just it's just good husbandry and it's just a good way to get your tank really clean and and uh, and it's healthy for the plants you know when a lot of stuff gets on the plant leaves the plants have a hard time growing properly and you get deficiencies and stuff like that so I just that's a quick tip from uh, me to you guys but anyway, I uh, just wanted to, you know, show the tank uh, on how it looks right now. It's been a while since I've had it set up. Um, everything's growing well. You know, um, some plants do have some problems when, as they get older, some of the older leaves die off or they get holes in them. You know, I do dose EI, but you know with the high metabolism of the tank, sometimes it's just the gr plants grow too fast for <laughs> their metabolism and they they just uh, wind up getting deficiencies even though I am dosing uh, estimated index um, yeah so that's pretty much it here I am I am planning on entering the tank into I, I, uh, LPC the ADA contest um, it's not gonna be perfect I don't have a lot of time left I'm still working on like the left side here with the bushes I added a couple of stems of uh, Rotala Atra just to give it a little orange color to match the uh, uh, aromatica in the background and I do have on this right side here some stems that need to grow up taller and get bushier I put some stems in the back you can't see them because they're really short right now so those have to grow up a little I'm hoping by the time the deadline comes I'll, uh, I'll be able to sort that out but if not you know what I'll, I'll try to get a good Good shot or take the best shot that I can and submit it I think it's always better to submit it something than to submit nothing it's free you know I mean if I was really serious it would take a lot of work to get it uh, perfect but I don't have that kind of time so it's just just a hobby and for me and it's just really uh, it's just a way to, for me to you know express myself artistically yeah I guess you could say so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, this is a longer video than normal. I hope you guys get a lot out of this. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and check out my uh, videos um, in the future. I'll, I'm hoping to make, make a few more. And I'll leave you off with a nice school of uh, green neons there. Schooling up really nicely. There you go. And that's it. All right, guys. Have a good one and take care. Have a great week. There you go. Beautiful little school. Take care.